How are you guys doing? It's a beautiful day. And before I get into this video, I just want to say thank you to the few people that left some positive feedback on my last video, the rap about GSP. Now, I'm really proud of that song, and the fact that some of you like the song really, really means a lot to me, honestly. You know, it's crazy when you create something and you're not sure if other people are going to like it, and then when they do, it's a beautiful, beautiful feeling. So I really, really appreciate it. You know, it's, it's awesome. But... UFC 168 is almost here. Chris Weidman is defending his middleweight belt against Addison Silva. Wait, 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 wait. What? <laughs> Chris Weidman defending his belt against Addison Silva. Now, did anyone ever think they would ever hear that? I mean, when's the last time anyone defended their belt against Anderson Silva? Anderson fucking Spider-Man Silva, man. It's crazy. It's nuts. You know, but hey, this is the beauty of MMA. You know, this is anything can happen. Anyone can lose. And now on Saturday, there's going to be a rematch. And I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen. There's a lot of questions and very little answers. What Anderson Silva is going to show up in the rematch? Are we going to see the Damian Maya silly clown in Anderson Silva? Or are we going to see the serious, focused, devastating Anderson Silva? Or are we going to see both? Or are we going to see something totally new and different this time, like the drunken master Anderson Silva? <laughs> I don't know. And if a serious Anderson Silva shows up, how will Chris Weidman deal with that? If silly clown and Anderson Silva shows up, will Chris Weidman be able to capitalize again and put him to sleep? Will Chris Weidman become overconfident because he knocked Silva out and completely abandoned his wrestling believing that he can knock Silva out again? So many questions. And the reason why there are so many questions is because of Anderson Silva. When this dude steps into the octagon, you never know what the hell he's going to do. You don't know what Anderson Silva is going to show up, and that's why his fights are really interesting, and that's why his fights are always really hard to predict. That's why this fight in particular is hard to predict. So I'm going to give a prediction for each scenario that comes up. If a silly Anderson Silva shows up, dropping his hands, clowning, being ridiculous like he was in the last fight, Chris Weidman is going to catch him again. And the reason why Chris is going to catch him again is because Chris is the only guy that was not afraid to get hit by Anderson. I'll repeat that. Chris Weidman is the only guy that was not afraid to get hit. In the last fight, he was moving forward. He wasn't frozen. He wasn't mesmerized. He wasn't impressed by Anderson Silva's performance. At one point, he even had his hands down right in front of Anderson Silva, inviting Silva to hit him. Now, that's a man who does not give a flying fuck. That's a man who's telling you, go ahead, put your hands down, and I will hit you. The second is, Chris Weidman might just be the hardest puncher that Anderson Silva has faced. Chris hit him hard a lot of times, and you can tell Anderson Silva felt that shit. So if Anderson Silva shows up silly, not focused clowning, Chris will catch him again. But it's going to be a totally different fight if Anderson Silva shows up there to fight. Because here's the thing. If Anderson Silva wants to hit you, he's going to hit you hard. He's going to hit you fast. And he's going to hit you accurately. Anderson Silva ends fights with single strikes. He can hit you once and hurt you bad. And the reason why he can do that is not because he hits hard. Anderson Silva is not a brain-rattling power puncher. He's not. He's just too accurate. And usually when he hits guys, they don't see it coming. And the ones you don't see coming, now, those are the ones that hurt you real bad. So what I'm saying is, Anderson Silva has the ability to end this fight in minutes. And if he shows up focused, motivated, hungry... He just might. But what's my prediction for this fight? Now, in the last fight, I went with Chris Weidman. And the reason why I picked him to win is because, in my opinion, 90% of why Anderson Silva is as successful as he is is not physical. It's psychological. 
His mind is out of this world. He makes you second guess yourself. Like, wait, what am I doing in this octagon with Anderson Silva? He makes you think, oh man, if I can just survive the first round, woo, that's a victory. But when you're fighting Anderson Silva, he's not locked in that octagon with you. You're locked in that octagon with him. That's how he makes you feel. But with Chris Weidman, he wasn't in there to share the octagon with Anderson Silva. He belonged in the octagon with Anderson Silva. He wasn't there to hang with Anderson Silva. He was there to not only beat, but finish Anderson Silva. And to me, that was special. That was a first. And that's why I picked him. And that's why I'm going to pick him again. <laughs> Whatever. I'm going to pick Chris Weidman to win again. Now, I don't know how he's going to win. He might take Anderson Silva down and submit him. I don't know. He almost did in the last fight. He could take Silva down and hurt him with GMP. And finish him. I don't know. Or he could knock him out again. I don't know. I just know that this fight is not going to go five rounds. Someone is getting finished. And Chris Weidman, in my opinion, is going to beat Anderson Silva a second time. That's my prediction, and I'm sticking with it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Better not be wrong.